Oh, there you are, YouTube. Happy October, everybody. Today we start the Halloween Advent Calendar. We're gonna have one of the kids pull out a movie title out of the Advent Calendar, and then we watch that movie for the day. Okay, what are we watching? Go ahead and pull it. It is... Casper. Casper, nice lighter it's fare. It's like a little cartoon kid ghost. Awesome. <laughs> I don't think I've seen that since it came out on VHS. Yeah, I saw it twice in the theater, actually, when I was a kid. Before we get to the October movie, we got something else planned. What are we doing today? Paw Patrol movie. Yeah, we're going to see the Paw Patrol that's the, that's the most monotone they've been all day. <laughs> they've been screaming about this movie constantly. I can't believe that's all they gave us. So, uh, yeah, we're going to see the second Paw Patrol movie. And uh, then we'll get to other October activities. And we got Tracy with us. You see her back there? Yeah. Hello. Hey, sweetie. No, 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 no. We'll, we'll get that picture after we see the movie, okay? Come here. She's so excited. Ah, uh, we can get it now. Here, quick. Hurry. Look at that. Smile. <laughs> so cute. Wow. Here. 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 It's so Follow bright in here. here. What, what are our numbers here? Um, hi. hi. <laughs> Where are you? Hello. <laughs> Yeah, did you like it? Only the sky puppy pops. Which was a lot of it. This was. She said, she said it was scary, but she liked it. Oh. What did you think, bud? You liked it. You liked it? Yeah, you were having a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, migration. Maybe we'll check that one out. What did you think, sweetie? Was it good? Yeah, I liked the Liberty and Sky Puppy. Liberty Sky Puppy and Marshall Parts. Look at that. Hey, yeah, you should be in front of Chase, your favorite. Okay, turn and look. Look at you two. Wow, very cute. Oh, no, look here, look at Mama. Look awesome. Look right. very cool. <laughs> Okay, the kids are asleep right now. They really, they, they liked the Paw Patrol movie. I think the first one's a lot better, like a lot better. Uh, but th this one was fine. It was good, but it was, it was really missing that opening theme. But anyway, now it's time to get to uh, Casper. We're gonna watch Casper. We thought about showing it to the kids, but I don't know, it was a kind of a busy day. And I, it's just gonna be fun to reminisce. So we got some... We got some tacos ready right here, and then we're gonna start the movie. So let's take a trip down memory lane. I actually saw this movie twice in the theater when I was a kid, once with the family, and then uh, once with some friends, uh, another like family of friends. But anyway, uh, here we go. So Casper was a lot of fun to watch again. I mean, I, I can't remember the last time I watched it. When I did, it was probably on VHS. Like I said earlier, I, I saw it twice in the theater, and then I, I don't know, just maybe a couple times on VHS. I didn't own it, though, so it would have been like through friends or cousins or something like that. But oddly, I found myself uh, like quoting the movie. Like my wife had seen the film also, but there was so much she didn't remember. And I feel like I remembered quite a bit of the movie, which again, I didn't have it. I didn't own it, but I, I don't know. Maybe my little brother had it. He might've had it. I don't, I don't know. I don't think he did, but um, I, I, was, I was quoting it. I was remembering stuff. I was telling my wife stuff that was going to happen. Like all the cameos. I was like, wait a second. This movie's like packed full of cameos. Um, or, you know, like little moments and stuff like, like Ray from the Ghostbusters and then Clint Eastwood, Mel Gibson and Rodney Dangerfield and stuff like that. I remembered all of that. 
Um, but yeah, the score was also really good. Uh, James Horner did it. I was loving that. It was so beautiful. Some of it sounded a little Christmassy, uh, which I thought was strange because it didn't like the movie doesn't go to that, you know, Christmas holiday at all. Um, but yeah, there was some like very haunting, beautiful music in it, which I really liked hearing that. Um, there, there's a lot of dumb dialogue in it, like a lot of things that Christina Ricci has to say, which I don't know sounds, but again, it's kind of like, you know, young teenager type stuff. You, it sounds really smart and funny and witty and, you know, like a clap back in your head. But when it's said out loud, it's like, yikes, that's, <laughs> that, that was a, a dumb line of dialogue there. Uh, so you do get that every once in a while, but I don't know, that doesn't even matter. Uh, it was it was fun to revisit. The special effects I thought were pretty impressive considering the time. It was like 95. Uh, also, Christina Ricci, Devon Sawa, both in this. Devon Sawa is ca the, the, the live version of Casper. Um, and they were also in Now and Then together, which came out the same year, which is pretty cool. So 95 is their year. Um, Let's see what else I don't know I was, it was a uh, it was it was fun to to see it again the three uncle ghosts or whatever you know they they bring a lot of mean humor into the movie um, Bill Pullman his character's name is Dr. Harvey which I remember like Harvey comics is where Casper comes from so that was a cool tip of the hat right there there are probably a lot of other nods that I you know didn't pick up on um, but I don't know like when isn't Wendy the witch like connected the Casper or something like that. Um, like maybe she's in there somewhere and I just didn't pick up on it. Uh, but yeah, the, the mansion is really cool. It's kind of like a character in the movie. There's some moments where it like really feels like, like a set, um, and, and doesn't feel real at all. Not the house, but like the grounds the this, the house, I don't know, works like, you know, it's a set, but it works. But like when they're on the grounds, um, of the property it just it looks pretty fake but there's a charm to that right there's a charm to that but anyway it was a lot of fun uh i guess to go back to paw patrol i i don't know i wasn't as into it as i was the first one uh they didn't play the theme song like the theme song in the first movie when that hits like it it like makes you tear up because it, it reminds you of like what this means to to kids like they've been watching it on tv for for so long and then here it is on the big screen and and when they played that theme song in uh in in, in the movie it was it was just like amazing one you wanted wanted to bring a tear to the eye but here they just ignored it they didn't do it and i know this one was like the puppies are like superheroes in it but i believe that's a separate show uh that has its own theme song and i feel like they should have done that because I don't know. The, I feel like this movie was lacking in... Okay, again, we're talking about Paw Patrol 2 here now, no longer Casper. But I felt like this movie was lacking in needle drops. Like, when you watch the first movie, it's like, bam, here's an awesome song. Bam, here's an awesome song. Here's another one. Here's another one. Here's another one. When these great moments on screen arrive. And the theme song is one of those. And in this movie, they didn't have the theme song and the music. I just did not think was as good. Um... And it's also uh, darker toned too, like a lot of night scenes. Um, and that was kind of scary for some of the kids in the theater, you could tell. So I think they tried to grow up the movie with the audience, but Paw Patrol has been around for like 10 years. You know, just keep it for your two to four year olds. You don't need them to start making it for five to seven year olds. I don't think so anyway. Um, so yeah, it was, you could tell some of the kids were, were getting scared and I don't think they would have at all gotten scared with the, the first one. We didn't see the first one in theaters when it came out. We saw a re-release for it, like a free summer movie re-release, which was a lot of fun. Uh, but, and that was, it was, it, I don't know, it, it, it just worked on the big screen. It was really good. <laughs> um, there were a lot of cameos in it too, voice cameos, but for some reason they just didn't feel as grand this time they did repeat some like kim kardashian is in both of them also kim kardashian's kids um kim and kanye's kids are in it too uh i don't know how many kids they have three two of the kids at least i think and at least two of them were in it um but yeah i mean the kids had a lot of fun watching it they did think it was a little bit more scary um but i 
I mean, they didn't say that they like one over the other more, but personally, me and or me and my wife, we both like the first one more. Uh, but they had a good time. That's what was important, right? The movie wasn't made for me <laughs> at all. Uh, but anyway, it was it was uh, we we wanted to start off with lighter fare uh, just because we knew we were going to see the Paw Patrol movie today. So this was one of the uh, pockets in the Halloween advent calendar that we did rig. We did put Casper in this one on purpose just so that the topic of this video uh, is mostly, you know, is is kids movies, I guess, because it would have been funny to have like <laughs> Paw Patrol and then some like demonic film afterwards that I'm talking about. So it just makes more sense for me to talk about both of these movies in one video. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and perhaps I'll see you tomorrow for more Pure Hangout.